Hello, it is Wednesday, August the 4th, and we are starting our new series of online readings of the Psalter every Wednesday evening at 7 p.m. Eastern. We will do a one of the Kathismas. Now, in the Orthodox Church, the Psalter is divided into 20 sections called Kathismas. Kathisma is a Greek word that means session or sitting. So every week, one of these sessions, over 20 weeks, we'll get through the entire Psalter, and we'll start again. Today, we're beginning with the first Kathisma, this is Psalms 1 to 8. So we start with some opening prayers, we do the Psalms, and then some closing prayers of intercession at the end. So let us pray to the Lord. Blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us out of the temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. For laying aside all excuse, we sinners offer to you, as to our Master, this supplication. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The precious memory of your prophet David, Lord, has shown your church to be heaven. For angels exalt together with men. By his prayers, O Christ God, guide our lives in peace, that we may sing to you, Alleluia. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, Amen. I flee to you, most pure Theotokos, in need of salvation from the great multitude of my transgressions. Visit my infirm soul, and beseech your Son, our God, to grant me forgiveness of my evil deeds, O only blessed Lady. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. All holy God in Trinity, creator of all the world, as we the unworthy ones now desire to pronounce these God-inspired psalms which the Holy Spirit placed upon the lips of David, make haste and guide our hearts to begin with understanding and to end with good deeds. Aware of our ignorance, we fall down before you in prayer, begging you for help and calling out, O Lord, direct our minds and strengthen our hearts, that we may be, not be taken up with words, but rather we find joy in the meaning of these words. Be prepared to perform the good deeds they teach us, saying, Enlightened by good deeds and the judgment, at the judgment may we together with all your elect become, be among those at your right hand. And now, Master, bless, that having sighed from our hearts, our tongues might sing out to you these words. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands on the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff which the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? 
The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers of the people and assembled against the Lord and his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury. But I have been made king by him on Zion, his holy hill, telling the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day have I begotten you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for your inheritance, and the ends of the earth as your dominion. You shall break them with a rod of iron and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, O rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, and rejoice in him with trembling. Accept correction, lest he be angry, and you perish from the righteous way. For his wrath is quickly kindled. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. O Lord, how many are my foes, many are rising against me, many are saying of me there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield about me, my glory and the lifter of my head. I cry aloud to the Lord, he answers me from his holy hill. I lie down and sleep, I awake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of the tens of thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek, you break the teeth of the wicked. Deliverance belongs to the Lord. Your blessing be upon your people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord hears me when I call to him. You have given me room when I was in distress. Have compassion on me and hear my prayer. O sons of men, how long will you be slow of heart? How long will you love vain words and seek after lies? But know that the Lord has done wonderful things for his Holy One. The Lord hears when I call to him. Be angry, but sin not. Feel compunction on your beds for what you say in your hearts. Offer a sacrifice of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many who say, Oh, that we might see some good. The light of your confidence has left its imprint on us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace and confidence I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, cause me to dwell in hope. Give ear to my words, O Lord, give heed to my groaning. Hearken to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. For to you do I pray. O Lord, in the morning you will hear my voice, in the morning I prepare a sacrifice for you to wa and watch. For you are not a God who delights in wickedness, evil may not sojourn with you. The boastful may not stand before your eyes, you hate all evildoers. You destroy those who speak lies, the Lord abhors bloodthirsty and deceitful men. But I, through the abundance of your mercy, will enter your house. I will worship toward your holy temple in fear of you. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth, their heart is destruction, their throat is an open sepulchre, they flatter with their tongue. Make them bear their guilt, O God, let them fall by their own counsels. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But let all who take refuge in you rejoice, let them ever sing for joy. And defend them, that those who love your name may exalt in you. For you bless the righteous, O Lord, you cover him with favor as with a shield. O Lord, rebuke me not in your anger, or chasten me in your wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, for my bones are troubled. My soul also is sorely troubled, but you, O Lord, how long? Turn, O Lord, and save my life. Deliver me for the sake of your mercy. For in death there is no remembrance of you. In Sheol, who can give you praise? I am weary with my moaning. Every night I flood my bed with tears. I drench my couch with my weeping. My eye wastes away because of grief. It grows weak because of all my foes. Depart from me, all you workers of evil, for the Lord has heard the sound of my weeping. The Lord has heard my supplication. The Lord accepts my prayer. All my enemies shall be ashamed and sorely troubled. They shall turn back and be put to shame in a moment. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O Lord my God, I accept my hope in you. Save me for all my pursuers, from all my pursuers and deliver me. 
Lest like a lion they rend me, dragging me away with none to rescue. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have dealt back evil to those dealing evil to me, then may I fall empty because of my enemy. Let the enemy pursue me and overtake me, and let him trample my life to the ground and lay my soul in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in your anger, lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Arise, O Lord my God, and the decree which you have commanded, and the assembly of peoples will surround you. Over it, take your seat on high. The Lord shall judge the people, give me justice over it according to my righteousness, and according to the integrity that is in me. We'll let the evil of the wicked come to an end, but establish the righteous. You who sound the deep depths of the hearts and reins, O righteous God. My righteous help is from God, who saves the upright in heart. God is a righteous judge, strong and patient, who does not make his wrath felt every day. If you will not repent, God will wet his sword. He has bent his bow and made it ready. On it he has fitted the instruments of death. He has fashioned his arrows for those who rage. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and brings forth lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole which he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own paint his violence descends. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness, and I will sing praise to the name of the Lord Most High. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth, for your glory is chanted above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants you have fashioned perfect praise in response to your foes, to still the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have established. What is man that you are mindful of him? What the son of man that you take care of him? You have made him a little lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, and also the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, whatever pass, passes along the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to you. Lord, have mercy, 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 Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. At every time and at every hour in heaven and on earth, you are worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God. You are long suffering, most merciful, most compassionate, who love the just and are merciful to sinners, who call all to salvation to the promise of the good things to come. Accept, O Lord, our entreaties at this hour, and guide our lives that we may keep your commandments. Sanctify our souls, purify our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our ideas, deliver us from all distress, evil, and pain. Surround us with your holy angels, to protected and guided by their host, we may attain the unity of the faith and the knowledge of your unapproachable glory. For blessed are you unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We're honorable to the chairman and more glorious gun compared than the seraphim. In virginity you gave birth to God, the word, truth, Theotokos. We magnify you through the prayers of our Holy Fathers. Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord and lover of mankind, encircle us with the power of your precious and life-giving cross, and protect us from all evil. Be mindful for us among the Holy Catholic Apostolic Church throughout the world. Watch over her, strengthen her, and enlarge her. Give her peace. Keep her invincible before the assaults of her enemies. Be mindful, O Lord, of our Holy Fathers and the bishops of the whole church, especially Archbishop and Father Alexander and all the clergy. Be mindful of all our parents, relatives and friends, living or dead, and save them all in your great mercy. Be mindful, O Lord, of those who are good to us. Repay them in your great bounty. And provide them with all that they need for salvation and eternal life. Be mindful of all those who are ill and infirm. Visit them in your tenderness and restore them to good health and the fullness of strength. Be mindful of travelers everywhere. You yourself be their companion. 
He might all of our civil authorities and those who serve our country, inspire them and strengthen them in working for peace and justice and love among our people and throughout the world, make them upright and responsible and people of integrity. Be mindful of all those who in serving us show us kindness, consideration and thoughtfulness and your great goodness be merciful to them all. Be mindful of all those who ask for our prayers, though we are far from worthy to intercede for anyone. Be mindful also of all of our departed, brothers and sisters who are laid to rest here and throughout the world, grant them eternal rest where they can enjoy the radiance of your face. Be mindful of captives everywhere, by your grace, provide them with the way out of their troubles, and strength to respond to your grace at all times. Be mindful of all those who work for the good of your holy churches, reward them with your peace and love. Finally, O Lord, be mindful of us, though we are unworthy, though we continually fail in our attempts to live as we should. Grant us the light that comes from renewing you, and the strength to follow the path of your commandments. Through intercessions of our most holy lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all your saints, for you are blessed unto ages of ages. Amen. It is truly me to bless you, O Theotokos, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. In virginity you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen.